hello everyone welcome in this video we going to see deep learning techniques for underwater image classification project this project and title inspired from IEEE paper and the paper is this one. so year 2022 domain deep learning image processing our data set image data set so it comes under the image processing concept image classification is supervised learning problem so supervised learning in the sense nothing but we working with the labeled data set and we have a more than five targets in this project used technologies Completely we utilize Python programming language Python 3 we using and Anaconda platform TensorFlow library we using for deep learning purpose and then we working with the three dimensional array completely we need to utilize two dimensional layers convolutional neural network is a parent algorithm of all other algorithms so we can use CNN based algorithms to complete this project with a better performance and I completely we use Jupyter Notebook IDE hope you are aware of Jupyter Notebook and then necessary machine learning techniques we have utilized in this project so introduction nowadays mostly all the research scientists focusing in two places one is sky another one is underwater still lot of things are there in the underwater to find every day new new creatures we finding from the underwater so this is marine oriented project so completely it has a lot of applications like oceanography marine industries defense uh, protecting the environment exploring the underwater areas uh, like that it has so many applications problem statement usually underwater images can vary significantly from their terrestrial counterparts due to factors like uh, light attenuation water turbidity and uh, color shifts the problem is to develop a deep learning model that can accurately classify underwater images into different categories while accounting for domain shift and limited uh, labeled data usually in the machine learning side collecting the massive amount of similar pattern of data very difficult so here with the less amount of samples from each target we can perform the data augmentation and we can increase the number of images and we can score the better result so and also we know very well when we take images from the underwater so that uh, light adjustment different different uh, lightings will come so for that also we can find solutions so proposed system this project work proposes CNN based deep learning algorithms so we can use convolutional neural network and we can use a transfer learning algorithms for the comparison purpose so in all the best way if you are interested in this project we have uh, so many ideas to enhance this project so compared to traditional machine learning methods um, deep learning algorithms after offer several advantages including automatic learning features um, handling complex data achieving the state of the art performance like that so this is the system architectures so to perform data science and machine learning project a very important historical data set so here we have a underwater image data set for classification purpose and then we are performing image pre-processing feature engineering data splitting so here we are splitting the data for training and testing so we are training the algorithm with the training data and we validating our algorithm with the test data and finally we um, what accuracy we getting after the model validation with the test data so we proposing that is a final 
accuracy of that specific algorithm so mostly greater than 75 percentage considered as good accuracy we can get more than 85 90 percentage and from our data set we have uh, i told more than uh, five targets so from one target uh, here i have showed some samples and uh, this is from another one target so completely you can clearly understand all our c creatures and then algorithms so um, we working with the image data set completely cnn based algorithm we will use for the comparison purpose also or one algorithm we will use for if you find with the one algorithm we can go with the cnn or any one cnn based algorithm and also we can perform the comparisons two more algorithm we can use and we can finally we can propose one algorithm so completely cnn based algorithm so this is the general layers convolutional layer dense layer max pooling layer dropout layer and float and these are the layers and uh, well known activation functions relu softmax sigmoid tanh like that activation functions we will use in this project so thank you guys so if you like uh, this video so you can um, like this video you can share your thoughts in the comment box you can uh, if you want more videos like this you can um, subscribe our youtube channel and also here i have mentioned our office mail id and i have given numbers also for any general verifications or clarification you can call us if you want uh, this project or related this kind of uh, so many projects we have and we have uh, so many ideas to enhance the project also so not only from our our side projects if you have uh, any idea if you have uh, any IEEE papers so you can come and um, we can discuss about your uh, projects if everything fine the data set is available definitely we will take your project and we will make you happy with the project so thank you guys